Pennsylvanians with disabilities can come across many barriers when trying to cast a ballot. And a polling place might not be wheelchair accessible or the print on the ballot might be too small to read for some people. Tonight, our Pennsylvania State Capitol correspondent, Kara Jeffers, is live to talk about your rights to have help and accommodations when casting a ballot. Kara? Good evening, Nick and Renata. The lights might be off in Harrisburg with lawmakers away, but the efforts to keep voters informed never stop. All eligible voters have a right to access the right to vote. That doesn't mean it always happens in every precinct in every county. So making a plan ahead of time can be critical to getting your vote in. Today, disability advocate groups and the Department of Human Services talked about voting rights for handicapped citizens. Voting is a civil right for all U.S. citizens and an important way to speak up. Speakers said that anyone with physical or mental disabilities has the right to access their right to vote. We have the right to an accessible polling place. We have the right to an accessible voting machine. Access might look like a wheelchair ramp, shorter tables, or specialized voting machines. Advocates said taking time to research what accommodations your county has before the election can make the day of voting smoother. So most counties have videos that show exactly what the process is if you want to use the visual aids or the auditory aids or the tactile keyboards. Another protection for voters with disabilities Particularly if you're voting in person at the polls, you can bring someone with you to assist you. Uh, that is absolutely allowed and something that you might want to take advantage of just to make sure that everything goes smoothly. An assistant might help you get in the polling place. They can read the ballot to you. They might fill in circles or help you with a touchscreen voting machine. You can also use an assistant to help you register to vote and do mail-in or early voting. Lastly, advocates today urged all voters to be informed voters. Think about what is important to you and find out what can what the candidates think about those things. Now speaking to that assistant part, if you want to have an assistant, you and the person you want helping you do have to fill out a form. Links to that and other resources will be online at WENY.com. In Harrisburg, I'm Kara Jeffers for WENY News.